come with me to lagos nigeria this was me at the airport well us me and babes we got into the flight everything was chaotic getting on this flight let me just tell you i don't know why but everything was chaotic we finally made our way through to our seats and off we went we got to lagos safely thank god we started feeling the heat at this point <laughs> but nothing too crazy I didn't look bad for someone that's been in the air for over 10 hours. <laughs> we had a layover by the way. By the way, this is the new Lagos International Airport. They just built this. It says Lagos, land of opportunities. That's actually very true. A lot of people come from different states in Nigeria to Lagos for greener pastures. We arrived at baggage claim, got our luggages. It took a while for them to come out. Eventually, two of our luggages were missing. We were just going to come back the following day to get them. Whose idea this was, I don't know, but it made no sense because why would you have us go through the ramp with our luggage carts like this? Like, are, are, you, are you for real? The elevator, they said we couldn't take it because it wasn't strong enough to take this. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand. This is dangerous. It is risky. At this point, still in the airport, but close to being outside. I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't looking to me like I was in Nigeria. I could see outside, but yeah, it just wasn't hitting me yet. <laughs> yep, we had to do this again. Babe's dad and Babe's brother-in-law came to pick us up at the airport. Thank you so much. And Babe's was so happy to see his dad. He was so excited. He had been looking forward to this moment. And they hugged again for like the 10th time. <laughs> we were finally outside of the airport, but I still wasn't feeling like I was in Nigeria. I mean, outside of Montego Bay airport was like this. So, yeah, it could have been Montego Bay. <laughs> it could have been, uh, well, it couldn't be Hawaii, but earlier it could have been Hawaii. It could have been any Caribbean country, really, that I've been to. So, yeah, I wasn't really feeling it. At this point, I still wasn't feeling it. Even at this point, it was still looking like I was in Punta Cana. I still wasn't feeling it. I wasn't getting that vibe yet. Maybe besides this billboard though that says welcome to the heart of Africa. <laughs> but yeah, also one thing I like about or one of the things I like about Nigeria is their big billboards. I don't know why, but I like them. Quickly, let me just say, at this point in the car, I was already getting cold. I'm the kind of person that I get cold easily. So I was already getting cold, but I didn't want to say anything so that my um, babe's brother-in-law wouldn't say what kind of IJGB is this person. See, that's already getting cold. They cannot stand AC. <laughs> when I started seeing the napeps and the downfall buses, then it started to hit me. I'm in Lagos. I'm in Lagos. I'm in Lagos. Started getting that vibe and I was loving it. <laughs> Overall, our journey to Lagos, Nigeria wasn't bad. Besides the first leg of the flight that was chaotic, everything else went smoothly. Even at the airport in Lagos, there was no trouble. Besides two commuters that were fighting over something silly, everything was good. It went well. The staffs were polite. Besides the ones we went to meet when we needed to file, claim that our luggages were missing. Anyway, Babe's dad was in another car. We were all driving to a place in Ikeja. But that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.